All right, uh, we have a very special story to tell you about. We first talked about it yesterday. Yes. It's a very special uh, football team out from Riverside. And it's very special because for the first time, an entire team of deaf players, that's right, oh. deaf players, is in the state football playoffs. Yeah, that's yeah. right. All season, they have been rolling over mm -hmm. their opponents and tackling misconceptions about deaf that's athletes. Right. KCAL Minds Nicole Comstock is live on Catalina Island in Avalon this afternoon <laughs> with this inspiring story. Yeah. Nicole? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, Susie and Juan, it's a little overcast and chilly out here tonight in Avalon, but that's perfectly fine because the Cubs brought the fire with them and the heat all the way from Riverside. This team has been absolutely on fire all season. They're hoping to win this game tonight, and if they do, they say they'll leave here feeling like the kings of Catalina Island. As the song says, 26 miles across the sea, Santa Catalina is waiting for me. That is waiting for the varsity football team from California School for the Deaf in Riverside. I don't even know how to put that in words. Words can't begin to describe how the Cubs are feeling. The undefeated team made it to the state playoffs. And today they took an epic ferry ride to face the Avalon Lancers. I I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I am fired up. You see, the Cubs are absolutely killing it this season. And for the first time since California School for the Deaf in Riverside opened in 1953, their varsity team could win their division championship. And what's so impressive about their season is not that they've been beating other teams comprised of kids who can hear, but that they've been beating them in landslide victories, regularly scoring 40 plus points over their opponents. I think some hearing people, they think that deaf people can't do anything, and that's not true. Deaf can play sports. Deaf people are great athletes. That misconception, that view of us, just really has us working harder to prove them wrong, to show them that deaf people can do it. And leading the charge. I've told them impeccable practice, impeccable games. Is head coach Keith Adams. He says these are just some stellar scholar athletes. My goal is that they believe in themselves. If you can succeed here, you can succeed outside of here. Right, the real world, you're going to have adversity just like you do here. What does that mean? You got to work harder. Well, word in town here is that the Avalon Lancers are also a really good team, too, that they've also been winning recent games by a large margin, which means this should really be an intense game between these two incredible teams tonight. Now, not that we expect the Cubs to not win, but we did speak with a coach of the team and some players yesterday, and we said, so what happens if they don't have this big win tonight? They say that's just another life lesson, and it means they'll have to come back harder next time. Reporting live in Avalon tonight, I'm Nicole Comstock. KCAL My News. Wow, they've done so well so yes. far. We're rooting them on, Nicole. Absolutely. Sounds like a mm -hmm. good matchup, too. Yeah, indeed. All right. Nicole, thanks.